Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Vice President, you can go ahead. This is a very sad day <coughs> for Zambia's jurisprudence. It's a very sad day for justice in Zambia. Mumbi Pili and Shebi Chilekwa have been in incarceration for more than a year. They have appeared in court. They have defended themselves. And on a day when the judge is supposed to hand down judgment, the state all of a sudden comes to court and pleads with the judge that they enter a nolle prosecutor against Mumbi Pid. How do we know what the judgment is? What about if the judge found that Mumbi Piri is innocent? The judge had already completed writing his judgment. And the state decides we're going to enter a nolle. It is clear to anybody who has any gray matter that the state themselves knew that there had no case against Mumbi Piri. It, it goes without any say that the state were not convinced yes. with the evidence that they had used against Mumbi Piri. Yes. And this is just a smoke screen to hide their shame. They do not want to face the embarrassment of the court acquitting Mumbi Piri. This is the reason why they have decided to use a hand back method an underhand method as though they are doing a favor to Mumbi Piri. We in the Patriotic Front are extremely disappointed by the behavior of the National Prosecution's Authority. It is no doubt at all that there are political hands involved in this matter. And time shall come for Mumbi Piri to be vindicated. Time shall come for Zambia to restore its justice again. And the time is here. How can we allow a citizen of Zambia to suffer incarceration for more than one year? Being a Thank you very much. Um, I think all of you saw me crying because of the pain that as a family we have gone through. To have a member of your family in prison, not even in Lusaka, but in Mongo, and we have been making several trips here to come and visit Mumbi. We came as a family to come and witness her acquittal. Or if there was any evidence at all, and even if I'm not a lawyer, because of my levels of understanding things, I, there was no evidence that was leveled against me. What is even painful is for her to stay in prison for over a year. Furthermore, at the time the, the case was closed, awaiting uh, what the judge would judge, they said they can only read the judgment in March, and yet the case was closed a long time ago. When March 23rd came, it was moved to 30th of April. When 30th of April came, it was moved to the 5th. Then we come here to be told it's a nolly. Speaking on behalf of my family, I want every Zambian to know the injustice that many people are going through in this country. Every statement that the president of this republic makes, he speaks against the fact that he was arrested. 
if in fact it was painful for him he should not repeat this vindictive attitude that he has been portraying since he was since he was voted into office from the time he was voted into this office people have been persecuted and i think my sister has been persecuted the most to be brought to Kaoma, then brought to Mongu, and sitting in prison all these years where she has children, she has a husband, I think this is unfair. And I want to say today to the states that if this is the way you are going to govern this country, I'm sure the God Almighty will deal with you. It's not for us to deal. I'm a Catholic. This is our Lenten season. This is Holy Week. Today, as they chose the 5th of April, this is the day Mumbi lost her son. Do they realize what was going into our mind? That today her son died in a cruel accident in Kawamba, and they should even choose this day to come and do what they've done to her. I think that whoever is serving in this government must realize that power comes and goes. Me as Professor Kanlu, I've served in seven ministries of this country. That's what happens to people. So if they think they are going to remain there forever, they will not. And whatever they've done to Mumbi is going to haunt them. And this is what will remove them out of power. Whatever they've done to Mumbi. The tears of people is what actually determines the future. Ubulo Shimuchawa Tamwaba, it's the tears that the people cry. We as a family of Mumbi have cried for over a year. I've come here to see my sister in prison and I've cried. If we want to take the word that this same president used in Kitwe, Kutumpo, Kutumpa. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. What we witnessed today is a travesty of justice. Why are we saying it's a travesty of justice? Because there's no chance on earth that Mumbipiri will ever be arrested. Why do I say so? We went through the whole motions of the trial. And you heard how that witnesses came to the court, uh, to the stand and testified how that they were offered to come and testify lies against Mumbi P. Rona was one such witness who testified to that effect. The state couldn't even have the guts to bring her on the stand to come and testify. We had to call her. She was offered a diplomatic job. She was offered money to come and lie about Mumbi P. We also noted some cadres of witnesses who came and purported to have seen Mumbi Piri on that particular day, when in fact she was not there. As a matter of fact, there's absolutely no evidence against Mumbi Piri. The right thing to do was to let the judge read his judgment and acquit her accordingly because we are convinced everybody knows everybody followed the proceedings and everybody knows that Mumbi Piri was never at the scene and Mumbi Piri is innocent. Mumbi Piri is going to walk with her head high with her head high because no evidence was brought in court against her against her however we have witnessed a travesty of justice in this country in that where a pronouncement was to be made as to her not being guilty as to her innocence the state comes in quickly to stop that we can only wonder as to why that is so but our sure guess is that they obviously don't want us to take out a matter against the state for malicious prosecution but they should not be misled we are ready and we will follow it up to ensure that Mumbi Piri gets her recompense for the period that she has stayed in there for the whole time that she's been in there she was there as an accused person now she's going to go out not with a charge on her head there hasn't been any re-arrest as it were there will not be any re-arrest unless the state will re-arrest her we are going to proceed and file yet another process in court as a matter of fact we are going to question this power of going as far as judgment stopping a judgment from being rendered only for purposes of, of entering the knowledge maybe we should reconsider having to ensure that uh, a Nole Prosequa is not used as a political tool, as has been done in this particular case. This is not politics. We are talking about people's freedoms. 
and people's freedom should not be subjected to politics. We shall go. We are just allowing the relatives. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.